Greetings everyone, Syringe Soup here with the Lynx 12 from SDS Imports, made in China. Now, it's been a minute, so let's get right in it. So, I got a lot of complaints, a lot of complaints, I'm a little ADHD, so I went ahead and wrote down, oh my gosh, bullet points so I can stay on task. Intro? Done. Say name. Done. Say gun name. Done. Uh, joke. We'll, we'll work on that. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> this is a semi-automatic Sega styled 19 inch, well, 19 inch barrel. The actual gun's a bit longer than that. <laughs> Little budget shotgun from SDS Imports. Now I already have the SDS Lynx 12, which its difference we'll get into later. That's my personal one. Had a lot of fun with it. Well, this is my personal one too. Off on a tangent. So let's open it up. This box arrived like this. I don't want to get no flack. This is just how beat up it arrived. So here we have the actual gun itself. Fixed stock. That's stock. And the yellow box of goop. Little owner manual right there. Sure. And then somewhere in here is the... Oh my god. Look how oily that is. What I, I appreciate it because this is from China. This is literally from uh, a, a factory in China. So it does have to come overseas, but Lord have mercy, they even oiled up the plastic magazine. God bless it. That's just uh that's just going uh back in there. I like that mess. I like that. I like it. Hold on though. Like what I love about these shotguns. Is they all feature, oh, look at that lovely preservative grease. We'll do a safety check in a bit if I don't drop the freaking greased up gun, pardon the language. La -ta -da -da -ta. La -ta -da -da -ta. La -ta -da -da -ta 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 -ta. Adjustable gas block. But yeah, it has four settings on the gas block. We'll get into that in a bit. Oh, get that away from me. Safety check. Now to hold the bolt open, you have to press this in. Again, <laughs> we'll get into it later, but it doesn't have last round bolt open. Little, 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 little. She is a clear. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. They were uh, generous with this little lady. Comes with a little sling loop. Another little one right here. I like the base furniture it comes with, except for the fact how thin this is. Hold on. Hold on. Little dummy round 12 gauge. Look how thin that buttstock is. It will. It will hurt if you put slugs through this thing. All right. We can see here. I can't read that. But made in China. Knoxville, Tennessee. What? Anyway, it'll, it says it will fit a 3-inch, and I have put 3-inch uh, shells through here. But again, with that thin buttstock, you might want to put a pad on it, because anything with a heavy load, uh, well, it's painful. Standard AK safety. Yep. Fully functional. God, that feels gritty. That feels gritty. Oh, she needs a clean. <laughs> Does not feel healthy. Gosh, gosh, gosh. But with a base model, it has your standard AK sight mount. Dang, 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 dang. It does have a, uh, a threaded barrel. Chrome lined smooth bore. How well can I get this in there? Not well. Anyways, just to prove it again, little, little, little. All in all, all in all, without going too deep into it, because I'm trying to keep this short, it's a great little shotgun for a couple hundred bucks. Or was. The price has gone up, unfortunately. Now, 
let's go ahead and get this thing proper doppered up. And yes, I am doing this on my bed because everything I keep from the government happens on my bed. Wait a minute. Now that's not attractive at all. Oh no! Camera shake! Yeah, see how. Joke? No. Open box? Check. Open box? Check. Talk box? Check. Talk gun? Check. Let's round hold up and check. Buy and pick? Um, I don't know if he's smart enough to deal with semi auto, but he's not strong enough to deal with pump. So, no. Lack of fiddly bits. So as I was saying, this gun's pretty dang simple. It's a very old, uh, well, it's a very old design, really. It's just your basic AK, just uh, geared up to fit a 12 gauge round. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. A little, little, little. A lot, a lot, a lot. Haven't had any issues with it. No real complaints other than the thin, thin boy stock. Anyways, main difference between the 3G and the uh, regular version, which is this, is the dust cover on the 3G is hinged and has a uh, has a rail that is straight from what I can tell. But you know, if you're doing <laughs> if you're doing long range shots with this thing, um, your experience might differ. Oh, that's so gross. Oh. Ladle, 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 ladle. Oh, she is dirty as heck, my man. Oh shoot, tangent. What am I doing now? Uh, talk gun. Na -na 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 -na. Compare, compare. I kind of already went over it, but I'll go over it again. Both, uh, both versions, the three G, the three gun version, have a threaded barrel. Have a nineteen inch barrel, chrome lined. Both have. The adjustable gas block, but the 3G has a hinged and railed dust cover, and the charging handle is on the right side. Now, this stock again does not come with it. Uh, I forgot what this is. Probably some off-brand cheap thing I bought, but I just wanted a folding stock on my Sega. I don't know why. Cause I'm basic. It's fine. We'll move on. <laughs> Empty. Um, both will fit. Drum mags and all that fun stuff you might want to do, may want to do. Oh. Uh, so we will, we will call it squaresies. Say, compare, dust cover, bare bones. Uh, we won't say goodbye yet. We won't say goodbye yet, because I do have, speaking of Amazon cheapies, we are going to rotate the gun. Rotato the gun. Get this center frame. Now it has a standard, pretty standard, run of the mill sight mount. Look at all that oil. Oh my gosh. You love to see it when it comes from overseas, but at the same time, <laughs> at the same, at the same time, that is a, that's a, that's a mess. Anyways, this is like just some generic $30 AK scope mount, sight mount, vision peeper holder maleu. You can get off Amazon. Fits well. Oh my god, everything is locking up on me like my marriage. Anyways, just your standard little uh, cinch pin, or not cinch pin, cinch block. Fits on. Um, I mean, the main good thing about this is the worst thing about it. It is an old design. Doesn't have last round bolt hold open. And um, you're not going to get much wow factor out of it. This is like a, a side I got. <laughs> That's way too tall. That is way, way too tall. Oh my gosh. Um, this is a Firefield site. It was on clearance on Academy for like 50 bucks. Seems fine. Has adjustable buttons. 
has a laser. That is way too high. Either way, off on a tangent again. This is a very, very budget-friendly shotgun. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, easily. There's really nothing bad about it. it it'll do what you want it to do. I have 1,500 rounds plus of a mixed bag through a... Oh my gosh. Through my other one, my favorite son, with its little $30 side on it there we are it's fancy because it has a neoprene cover <laughs> anyways yeah no um 100 oh we can look at that look at that wear pattern not much metal wear just all that weird parker i don't even want to call it parkerized it's just that weird finish it has on it uh let's see did that did that did that did that did that did uh, did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, okay. Okay, anyways, I've been Serin Soup. Sorry for the quick random video. As you can see, it's on my bed. I'm just posting this out of, uh, out of the blue. Just giving you guys a heads up on, uh, what is really just a very serviceable, cheap, affordable, lovely little shotgun. Hold on, let me get this out of the way. I'm trying to get this little fiddly bit to react. Damn it. All right. That's on there forever now. Anyways, I'm Serin Soup. This is the SDS Imports Lynx 12 from China. Wait, hold on. What was it from again? Ah, China, Knoxville, Tennessee. Favorite place to visit. Goodbye.